We begin in the United States where President-elect Donald Trump has confirmed that he will in fact use the U.S. military to conduct mass deportations of illegal immigrants. In a social media post, the President-elect positively responded to a conservative commentator who said Donald Trump would declare a national emergency and use military assets for his de deportation program. On the campaign trail, Trump repeatedly vowed to crack down on illegal immigration by carrying out the largest deportation in American history. They're sending prisoners, murderers, drug dealers, mental patients, terrorists. The worst of every country is coming into our country now. They're coming from the Congo, Yemen, Somalia, Syria, all over the world. They're coming there country changing, country threatening, and their country wrecking. They're destroying our country. They're destroying, you know, we can drill and we can get the oil going, we can get, but this is a tough one. We're going to end up with the largest deportation in American history. We have no choice. Have no choice, right? Have no choice. We have no choice because that's not sustainable by any country. The incoming commander-in-chief has at multiple times gone as far as to call for the death penalty for migrants who kill Americans or police officers. And I'm hereby calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or a law enforcement officer. The president-elect also said he would end parole for people coming from Venezuela, Cuba, Haiti, and Nicaragua within the first 100 days of taking office. Donald Trump could also end the policy that prevents deporting people who are not deemed a threat to public or national safety. Trump has already started taking steps to fulfill his immigration promises. He's tapped South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem to lead the Department of Homeland Security and former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Chief Tom Homan as his border czar. And from inside the White House, Donald Trump's longtime advisor, Stephen Miller, will act as his deputy chief of staff for policy. Miller played a huge role in crafting several controversial policies during the first Trump administration, including the Muslim travel ban and the family separation policy. However, experts believe Donald Trump's anti-immigration hopes will face enormous logistical challenges. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement boasts a staff of 20,000 people, which simply won't be enough to track down millions of undocumented migrants. There will also be financial constraints as well, which the president-elect says will not deter his government plans. Data shows that more than 11 million unauthorized migrants currently live in the United States. During his first four years in the White House, Donald Trump was able to deport more than 1.5 million people both from the border as well as from U.S. territories. Even with vows to involve the U.S. military, there's still, however, no guarantee Donald Trump will manage to succeed in deporting more than 10 million people.